Hello, this is Archibald Chesterfield III, and today I'm with the Monger's Monger, Johnny Suckerhorn. And today we're discussing the cheapest way to get bar girls. Cheap is important because, let's face it, fuckers, you miserable, nasty, vinyl, cheap cunts haven't been donating much, and I want to get bang per buck. I want bang per buck. I want bang per buck, Johnny. I am going there. I've got a budget. I got a budget of 900 bar to fuck. Is that possible, Johnny? 900 bar to fuck. Yes or no? Uh, not impossible. Not in, not impossible, but for 1000 1000 bar, the extra, you know, the extra 100 bar, I'd say, you know, definitely got a chance. Without doubt. Now, without Johnny doubt. A good friend of mine in Bangers, he used to go to the night, the 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 the, the, uh, the go go bars, and he'd say, "Honey, you're beautiful. If you want to come back to my room, here's my. I'm staying at the such and such hotel, the Nana, room yeah. number two one seven. He'd write it on a piece of paper. Come anytime you want. Five hundred baht instead of nothing. If you get a customer, don't come. But if you if you uh, don't have a customer, 500 baht. And uh, he used to have about two or three of them a night. Sure, sure. Yeah, they'll, they'll finish with one and they'll go and ring him up, won't they? That's like, it. Yep, yeah, exactly. Why sleep alone, it? Johnny? Why sleep alone? As you yourself have said, why sleep alone? Why sleep alone, Johnny? No, no point sleeping alone, is there? Um, but it's not so much what you know I say, but uh, that's uh, definitely what Thai girls say to you. You know, you know what? You know why would you want to sleep alone? You know, but they'll sleep next year. That's for sure. That's right. That's for sure. Now, Johnny, I wanted to ask you, uh, what etiquette should you have there? Um, well, as far as picking up, you know, paying the cheapest prices, you know. Some of the price involved is um, paying the bar fine and buying drinks. So you've got to pay, say, a 400 bar bar fine and a couple of drinks. And if these drinks are, what, 250 bar now, you know, that's 1,400 bar. You know, and uh, then you've got to get a taxi. That might cost you another 100 bar, maybe. So that's 1,500 bar to get back. And, you know, you know and uh, if it's a short time room, you're going, you know going to that's another four or five hundred baht on top so that's two thousand before you've given her a cent you know, really. i wanted to ask you what do you think about the older women i know in the the huntsman's pub that's the landmark hotel has the huntsman's pub there's some older women who frequent down below looking for punters any good yes. what uh, would you think of of a an older woman is it worth it or not Oh, working girls you're talking about? Of course, Johnny. Yeah, right. Yes. Well, um, well, it depends on what we what we what are we calling old? Fifty-five, 30? sixty, Johnny. Your age. Uh, oh, that's a little bit. Oh well, um, I could introduce. Be honest you with the viewers, Johnny. You don't need to lie. We've only got seven seven of the cunts watching. Uh, I could introduce you to a, a woman who's older than me. She's six sixty-one. She's older yep. than me. To look, to look at her, you wouldn't think she was, you know, a day over 35, you know, if you looked at her body. You know, so um, uh, her appearance is extremely, you know, deceiving. You know, but um, not many, you know, you know, keep keep themselves in trim and check like she, you know, she does. You know, she's... Now, Johnny, uh, what do you think of growling these women out? Would you be hesitant in growling out working girls? I'm not. I'm not hesitant one one bit. I, I find I tell a girl, working girl, you know, often cleaner than a, a, a girl who's not on the game entirely. They've got to be clean. You know, I tell a working girl to wash, you know, before and after. You know, you've been in bed, and then you, know, you stop long enough, even during. You know, they'll jump in the shower and you know, have, have a quick, you know, you know, quick wash, and jump back in the bed for you. Johnny, I wanted to ask you, is it important, Johnny, 
Uh, what manners should you have for these girls? A lot of these guys here, we're attracting a bad element. I want to teach these guys some manners. What general manners do you have to allow for more fulfilling entertainment? Oh, I treat them like a human being and a lady, not not as a, you know, like, I don't care what they do. And if I'm, I'm with them, you know, you know I'd, I'd like them, you know, to act as a lady yourself, but I'll open up a door for them or, you know, be courteous and offer them a drink or a cigarette or, you know, have good manners in front of them. You know, don't like to swear, you know, in, in, in front of a woman, you know, not necessary. But just to be polite and good manners, you know, you know, pay you know, some nice, simple little compliments, you know, got a nice dress or, you know, I think you're beautiful. And, nice tits. You know, sorry? Yeah, nice so, tits. Yes, they've got, you know, you say yes, so they've got, you know, nice body and all that. Why not? All women like, like to be paid compliments. Everyone likes to hear a compliment. But treat them as a lady. Like, uh, it's very simple. As soon as, you know, say you've got to go somewhere by taxi. You know, you, you yeah. jump in the back seat and you open up the door for them. Let them get in first and you jump in the back seat with them. You know, you, you can sort of kick off in the back seat, can't you? Would you be eating with them before or after the act? You don't have to eat with them. You don't have to. You know, that's not compulsory. It's um, You can offer them a feed. They may accept it. More, more than likely they will. I suppose it depends if you're hungry, Johnny. Well, of course. If you're hungry, it's more fun eating with someone than eating by yourself. So you'd, you'd offer them food. Thai girls appreciate that. You know, if you, you know, like, a, you know, they, they realise what's going to happen, you know, you know what, what's going to happen at the end of the night. But, you know, you can offer a few drinks, a nice meal, makes it a little bit more, um, you, know, the, you know, the GFE experience, doesn't it? Exactly. That's what we want, the GFE, isn't it? That's what we're all looking for. We're looking for love in a Nana bar. Is that possible, Johnny? No. <laughs> No, you might find physical love and you know and physical affection and uh, but it's very hard to get to a Thai woman's heart. You know, they'll, they'll tell you they love you in the first five minutes of seeing you. I'll tell you, but it, um, they're good liars that way. Yeah. They're very good liars. Even when they do tell you that you know you know they love you after years, I don't know half the time to believe them or not anyway. <laughs> you know, like uh, like if, if if the money run out, I don't know how you know how quickly the love would last. You can't eat love. That's what my second wife said to me. You can't eat love. Exactly. Exactly. You know, like, um, yeah, Thai women don't give it away. You know, they don't give it away. You know, a, everything has a price in Thailand. Everything. Somebody said there before in a comment, you know, the only time he went down to to Nana to pick up a girl after after closing time, they picked up a lady boy. Um, if you are inexperienced, that's a very easy thing to do in Bangkok. You know, if you if you're not um, au fait with you know lady boys, you know they are very very deceiving. You know, very deceiving. You've got to use your eyes. And um, can you do the Paul Hogan? Uh, yeah, you can try. Yeah, well, the Paul Hogan or the Rolf Harris? The Paul Hogan, you know, the Paul Hogan skit where he puts his hand in, in there, you know, that that that, that, that skit, Johnny, oh, yeah. he puts the hand in. I saw it happen once. Um, it was in a patea. These three German blokes you know, touched up this lady boy, you know, and uh, hands turned around to Wolfgang and he said, oh, don't do that, Wolfgang, it's a lady boy. You know, so Wolfgang went, let one go. He went to hit this lady boy, went to punch it. It was bang, bang, bang. And the three Germans were on the ground playing starfish after three kicks. You know, the lady boy kicked the daylights out of the three Germans. Just the three hits, bang, bang, bang. They were playing starfish on the ground. They were unconscious. Fastest, fastest lady boy ever seen run in my life. She straight off of the shoes. We're off the shoes and did she do a sprint out of the street? You know, out of there. She left. 
No, she got out of the way real quick. Didn't take long for the tourist police to come. They were there. Yeah, they're normally there in two or three minutes. They come pretty quick. But she was nowhere to be seen. But no one came to Wolf, Wolfgang and Fritz's um, um, aid. You know, we we'll laughed their heads off. You know, Wolfgang and Fritz didn't realise that she, that Sheila just, or well, that lady boy just won the Southeast Asian, you know, couture kickboxing competition. You know, she was good. <laughs> I see. Now, Johnny, tell me the truth here, okay? Yes, mate. Um, um, the reality is, Johnny, Johnny, how do you make sure you don't get an underage girl? How do you make sure? Because um, uh, we on this channel here we promote the sensible, the sensible. You got to be responsible, Johnny. So how do you well, just make sure you're not getting too well? The thing is, Johnny, as you've said to me before, you don't actually like any of the uh, younger women anyhow, unless they're in their late twenties, early thirties. They they don't know how to fuck. Well, that's that's my my opinion, but. To answer your question, you know, how do you know if they're AD or not? Um, um, granted, the fact that Thai women sort of look a, a lot younger, you know, the, than what they are, they don't show their age. You know, if, if you're in, you know, if you're like young women, sort of plenty of blokes do. You know, nothing wrong with that. They want to chase young women. They're you know, undecided about. You know, they they think she might be. Um, you know, 16 or 17 or something, just ask them, show us your ID card. You know, show us your ID card. You know, ask them how yeah, old that's they are. That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good way to do it. Ask them for the ID card. Show, show us your ID card. You know, if they're over 18, you know, you're sweet. They won't give it to you. They won't hold it in their hand. So, look, I'd like to go to you. I'm just worried you're, you're a bit young. Are you over 18? You know, you, you, you know and I'll say, yeah. And I'm, you know, you can prove it that way, but they've got to carry, you know, they've got to carry an ID card in Thailand. You know, everywhere they go, the Thais, they've got to carry an ID card. Wow, that's amazing, Johnny. That is amazing. That, I'm looking yeah. for love in a nana bar. Is that possible, Johnny? Can you find love in a nana bar? You might think you do, but, you know, when they wake up in the morning and, you, you know, you put your hand out and you... You're handing out your, you know, your two and a half, three thousand baht, and they've been a dud, dud route. You know, like um, um, uh, you may not have found it. Hey, yeah, you know, like I, I don't. <coughs> you'll, you'll, you'll find, you'll find um, a body to sleep next to for sexual intercourse in Thailand. Um, you won't have any problem doing that. Whether you find someone who's going to love you and be affectionate, and be that may be a different story. You know, you know, like it depends how much they're into it. They may not be into it one one bit. You know, like um, and especially if you a girl says to you, "I want two thousand baht for a short short time," and you'll say, "Oh, well, I'll give you a thousand. You know, and, and you know it's late at night. And, you know, we're both tired. And, you know, like she's not going to turn it on as you know as much as if someone's going to be paying her, you know, two, three, four thousand baht, is she? You know, she's going to be you know in and out as quick as she possibly can. So, you know, to get two thousand, so what about nine hundred baht, Johnny? We discussed this before. I'm sure you do it in Pattaya without any problem at all. You do it every day of the week in Pattaya. Because we want bang per buck, John. We don't want. We don't want. Um... <coughs> you bang for buck. Well, you're more than likely to get bang for buck with an older chick. Than, than what you are, you know, a younger, a younger one. If they're young and attractive, they, they've got their choice of, of, of who they go with. If they're a bit older and they're not as popular, you know, maybe there's not, you know, as much choice for them. So they'll go with, you know, the first bloke they come with. I rarely see, I've rarely seen Ty Sheila's knocking, knocking black folks saying, oh, look, I won't go with them. You know, they'll, they'll go with you. But, you know, that's suggesting before, you know, you meet two or three girls during the day or working girls. You know, if, if you don't get a job, ring me up. You'll get a phone call during the night, for sure. Yes, you like yes, that idea, Johnny? I've used it myself. I've used it, you know, used it myself 
before the days of mobile phones, you say have a piece of paper, you, you take, you know, you know, 10 cards from your hotel out, you just write your new room number on the back, you know. You know, say they put different times there, two, three, four o'clock. You know which one was coming. Very good point. Very good point, Johnny. But that's been going on for years. That's, you know, and you can see why blokes want to avoid, you know, the bar fine to take them out of the bar. You know, it's the bar fine plus your drinks. It's always going to be an extra thousand, two thousand baht on top of that. I'm paying the girl if you're know, pulling them out of the bar. You know, that's part of the course. Exactly, Johnny. That's how the economics of the bar works, isn't it? That's why Pat Pong at 250 baht a fucking drink. They're out of their fucking minds. What do you think about that, Johnny? I can't understand it. You know, like uh, normally the price for a beer in Pat Pong over the years has been 160 baht, 180 baht, you know, expensive. But now because there's a lack of clientele for some reason or it's the low season, you know, the bars have, you know, decided, well, you know, the way in which we'll remedy this, we'll increase our prices to 250 baht for a ladies' drink, you know, which is just a, you know, a Coke. It's not a whiskey and Coke or anything, just a Coke. So, so um, right. yes, so you, you're paying this, you know, extra money, you know, well, that's how the bar thinks they're making up. You'll, you'll find, you'll find the next thing, the bar fines will go up next. You know, the bar fines you reckon? will go up next. Yeah, that little bit, it'll be you know, 800 baht to take them out of the bar now, or 1,000 baht to take them out of the bar. And, and they think they're going to get the business still? That's what they think. I can't work the rationale. With, you know, it's certainly against any sort of nature of economic theory of, you know, I've ever accustomed to. You know, you increase the price when there's, you know, a lack of demand. You know, it's beats Thai me. logic. Yeah, it's Thai logic, all right. You know, you know, if business is going bad, you know, if business is going bad, I'll, I'll, I'll buy a whole lot more stock and increase the prices. Yeah, great you know, idea, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's how they work. I'm getting, you know, business going bad, I'll get a whole lot more stock, fill up the shelves of stock and uh, we'll increase the prices on everything. You know, that'll work. Yeah, I, I can't figure it myself, but that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Yeah, they like... I was telling you the example, you know, the money they make out of the bars, you know, from a, a, a large bottle of Coke, you know, which costs them, you know, 60 bar, you know, for a two litre, you know, bottle of Coke, they generate two and a half, three thousand bar, you know, out of one bottle of Coke. Well, that's not bad from two dollars, you know, three dollars to make a hundred dollars out of a bottle of Coke. That's, um, that, that's good. I wish I was in it. Yeah, it's good job just selling coke, isn't it? Exactly. That's that's uh, that's crazy. Well, that, that's what they you know, they're selling in the bars, and that that bar I'm talking about, that that's got the cheapest drinks in bank in in Pat Pong, but has the cheapest Is drinks. Right? So, God, so God knows what they're making in the you know in the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting statement there for from King B. He said, uh, you know, like we say, oh, it's a hundred dollars Australian, yeah, and King B says, you know, a hundred dollars, you know, Australia is not cheap for a fuck in a third world country, and and that that's true. But it might be cheap by our standards, you know. You could say it's cheap by our standards, but it's you know, it's not cheap in a you know, third world. You know, it's not cheap in Thailand. You don't see that many Thai men. You know, not, not every time ends paying two, three thousand baht for a short time. You know, that, that's what the girls are asking. Two or three thousand baht? You're out of your fucking mind, aren't you, Johnny? Well, it's not my mind. Out of my mind. That's what they're asking. You know, they're out of their mind. Jesus Christ, that's expensive, Johnny. That's Western world pricing. Well, it is, isn't it? You know, that's what, you know, some pretty young little honey who'd have tickets on herself, that's what she'd be calling, wouldn't she? That's what she'd want. Oh, that's mean, John. I don't think you'll have too much problem. You'll find something, Paul. You know, you, you, you'll find them. There'll be you know, plenty waiting outside Nana and the Majestic Suites at 
you know, haven't got a job at 1.30 in the morning and, uh, you know, they need to get home, need the taxi fare home, mate, you'll find something. Yeah, I think you're right, Johnny. Johnny, anything else you want to add to this? We might wrap it up and call it a night, John. That's been fantastic. It's been great no worries, having mate. you here. No worries. Oh, potato bars is on, Paul. Yeah. Looks like potato bars. You know, he's been here for a while. He's was saying he? uh, what, what Hooters potatoes are 150 baht a bottle. You know, Hooters. That, that's not bad. You know, 150, you know, you, you pay a lot more in Bangkok for a beer than 150 baht. Yes, yes, yes. That's a good point. <coughs> Yeah, in Thailand. don't worry. As long as you've got the money in your pocket, you'll find it, mate. No you'll worries, it, Johnny. Mate. Let's wrap it up, and I'll chat to you tomorrow, Johnny. Good on you, Paul. Check it in, mate. Check it in. Good show.